a superhero should wear those, but they're so comfy. I could take over the town with this army, or the world. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? You can't win this battle, Noctarius. It's already over, Power Bear. Cool. Uh, cool. Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh, good guy? I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Ah. Ah. Ow, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit, please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit! Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Nope. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? We will forgive them if they don't join Mantroid. He's not worth it. We have to live in peace. Or you will destroy them. That's my job. And that's why we love you. 
Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Now that's a superhero. I hate seeing him like this. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party, too. There's my hot dog, man. I can't see Dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. That would be a blast being... Oh, those are dad's pages. I need a pin code. What is it? Yes, I can hack any system. So cool. Here is my hot dog man. Q. 
you. I would love to see Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. I have to place it right. The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad, I know. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. I can't go to Mantroid's planet without finishing my costume. Seek the magic key to unlock the portal to another dimension. He's 
box has been here forever. Made that noise. Dad used a padlock, he wants to keep me out. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. A lot. Thanks for storing my explosives, Chief. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad.
now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. Dad never threw away Mom's hiking boots. Good. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that, and Dad couldn't stop laughing. Don't get this one. I'm too young. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture, it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. Yes! So cool! Snowmancer almost froze the whole city until Captain Spirit melted him. Here I come, Mantroid. Come on, 
on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit, you copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Skate pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no, meteor shower. Turn on the force field. Too late. Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder Man Troy lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. What's that sound? Something is coming. Or somebody. Man, Troy, show yourself, you coward! Get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. Fight me instead of hiding. You will pay for what you did, Mantroid, I swear.
Dad, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa, hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh, my. Look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just, just. Just? Just hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. Like your dad used to. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Dad just tripped and fell, but he's okay. That sounded like some fall. You sure he's okay? Uh-huh. He got all excited about the game. And he tripped over the table. I swear. Well, don't swear for your dad, honey. Leave that to him. Must be some game. I hope you have something else planned for today. I wanted to fix up the treehouse. Maybe Steven could come by and help? Well, that sounds like a fun job for a father and son. Right? Yeah, but, you know, my dad isn't good at building stuff like Steven. Oh, Lordy, don't I know it. And Steven loves any excuse to break out the toolkit to help you. He's way better with hammers than Dad. Yes, he certainly is. Steven would probably build you a tree city if you asked. So don't you dare. You're a good son, Chris. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later.
So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... You're just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I've tell me...